It'll be like the most perfect tide pool in history right here, the way she laid out this morning. I want to get, this is the ribbon. And the ribbon is where she pukes up everything and tells you everything and the skulls and everybody will work the ribbon. You know, torn up crab, torn up lobster. There ain't shit on the ribbon. It's disgusting, but this tide pool is like the perfect, perfect tide pool. I mean, I've never seen one, so I'm not saying a lot from Kevin Blanche. Hey, you think? You think? It's probably the greatest marine biologist freaking in history. So, there's nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's like, it's steamy. dead. Here come the loonies. They're unconscious. Of course, there ain't nothing alive anyway. Some of the surfers are unconscious. I know when the surfers here, I used to surf right there. They used to be conscious about the ecology. They're totally unconscious about the ecology. Oh, oh, it's a shark. No, maybe. No, maybe. You know, okay, whatever. So they're like perfect. And I've been working the shit out of this pool. But it's been pre-dawn for the last three days. Woo! You think I'm exhausted? Woo! Woo! But, oh my god, it's pathetic. And I've been here my whole Here's the ribbon again. Oh my god, it's disgusting. There's nothing. You know, and that's what these seagulls weigh. I mean, it's low tide. That's when the life, you know, comes in and exposes. Where's the California upper proportions? Where's the sea anemones? Where's the. Starfish. I <laughs> mean, unbelievable. Totally unconscious, everybody. The whole place is mentally ill. I mean, the whole country's mentally ill. They're completely checked out. Look at these pools, how perfect and beautiful. Oh my god, I've never seen them lay out. Because she got calm this morning. She doesn't do that very often. She's like, here you go, Kale, I'll help you out. We have quite the relationship, her and I. Remember I was with a woman hotel a few years ago. She wakes up. I'm not there. She calls. Oh yeah, there's a nice right down below you on the beach. She's sleeping. She says, you'd really rather sleep there than with me. No offense, but yes. <laughs> what are the mighty blue lady? She's never betrayed me. You know, I fight for her. This is how I, you know, I was giving too much to live almost 11 years ago when her and I fought together. And, you know, it was brutal. Walking the whole coast, dying of leukemia. Not this. She saved me. I'm trying to save her. Stand to me.